Ladies and gentlemen of the Badlands, it is finally time for the summer 2024 update. I have been waiting for this. I have been bracing for this for like the past two weeks, dude. It's finally here and I am so, so excited to see what's been added. I have not seen any of these items. I have kept myself completely blind. I have turned off my Discord. I've turned off my notifications on Steam and I'm just gonna react to what's gotten into the game. It's gonna be really fun. Now, as you can see here, we have four different taunts, starting here with the all class Unleashed Rage. Now, this I actually have not seen before on the workshop. I've been, I haven't browsed the workshop as much recently. So some of these are gonna be a complete surprise, which I'm really excited for. I like that all of the classes have a unique animation. I think Pyro's is really good. I love that stomping. Very, very fitting for the Pyro. Medic takes off his glasses. That could have a pretty cool combo with the uh, the second opinion and like other cosmetics that change his eyes. That could be really fun to mess with. Soldiers is pretty funny. I'm, I'm liking this one, dude. I, we don't really have a taunt for like anger, frustration. This, th th there's, there's some pretty interesting. Okay, engineers is great. <laughs> oh, I need to see. <laughs> Okay. okay, Engineer is the best one. We agree Engineer is the best one. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. So <laughs> when your medic like pops Uber too early, you just, you hit him with one of these, dude. You hit him, you hit him with one of these. <laughs> Now that's gonna bring us to the Cremator's Condolences. This one is by Kylo, and I have been smoking that Kylo pack since day one, so I'm really excited to see what he's gotten into the game this time. Uh, ooh, okay, I like this, I like this. I haven't seen the animation for this before. I've seen this on the workshop, but I have not seen the animation. I, I like this, dude. I like that it's a taunt that actually taunts the enemy team. Like, you, <laughs> you get a cheeky kill with the Scorch Shot, you pop out one of these. The enemy sniper wants your head on a pike, dude. It's gonna be good times. I like that, dude. I like that a lot. I also really like the model for this tissue box. That looks pretty cool. And now we do have a second taunt by Kylo. This is one that I covered in a very infamous workshop video, and I am really happy to see this one in game, dude. It is a really nice taunt, it's very fluid. It's got good props, good jiggle bones on everything. I really like this one, dude. I am really excited to grab one of these for my sniper. Probably an unusual one off the secondhand market because boycott, yada, 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 something, something. The final taunt is the can it. Now this one I saw a lot of people talking about and I'm very happy to see it get in, dude, because again, it is a taunt that is a taunt. And I love it, dude, especially because Soldier has like the beggar's bazooka, that whole dumpster diver set. You can do a really cool loadout with this, and I'm just a big fan. Now it looks like we got some taunt effects. This one is the Dragonfly's Nature. Okay, we got some different colors. Interesting, interesting. Let me see it in game. Preferably at a higher quality than 144p. Okay, I set the quality as high as it'll go. This one is not too shabby. I would like to see it on a moving taunt. Do they show it on a moving taunt? They don't! Ah, oh, I, I was wondering how the dragonflies would move because I think that could be kind of neat. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Then we have the electrocution unusual taunt effect. Is this team colored? I think this is team colored. And they do show it on a moving taunt. Okay, this. This looks pretty cool. I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, okay, it is team colored. That's nice, dude. That looks really, really good. This would have a nice combo with like kilowatt would look really cool. Yeah, I'm about this one, dude. The sprites look really good on this. Particle sprites, whatever you want to call them. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going to say the jargon words until I say the right thing. So far, things are looking pretty good. We got our first cosmetics. Okay. Okay, dude. Let me start out with the hat here. We got the fire marshal for the pyro. Oh my God. We finally got like a military pyro. Oh yes, dude. And they actually added the pants cosmetic too. That's, oh, what a treat. What a treat, dude. Look at this hat as well. Oh, it's so nice, dude. This, this hat gives me the energy of like 
a 2010s hat. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just nice and simple. I, I, I dig this so much, dude. It's gonna have so much loadout potential because it is very simple. Good paint region, exactly what you would expect. For the body cosmetic, the Invisible Flame. Absolute monumental banger. It has different styles. <gasps> Yo, it has a blade style. I'm way too happy about this. That adds so much versatility. Oh, dude, that's gonna be so fun to make loadouts out of. I'm actually so excited to make some loadouts with these, dude. Amazing, amazing, amazing body cosmetic. Like. Pyro is winning, dude, and not an egregious paint region as well. Love, 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 love to see it. Finally, we do have the Scorched Earth Stompers with two styles as well, dude. They gave it a plain style, yes! Oh, dude, I have, I have been harping on this point for so long. Oh, man, I love to see a good plain style. That is so nice, dude, because if it was just the camo, it would be a lot harder to mix and match into different loadouts. But with this plain style, you can do just about anything with it. And that's vital, especially because we don't have that many pants cosmetics in the game. That is absolutely massive, dude. Oh my God. I'm just gonna say it. This pyro set is 10 out of 10. Like, like, like this, this is perfect. This, I love this. Please tell me the entire cosmetic case is like this. Please, please, please tell me. I'm gonna scroll down. We got, I believe, a taunt effect. Ooh, ooh, okay. So it's like distress flares. Okay, I'm liking this. I think this is team colored and then they have a green variant. Okay, yeah, it is team colored and then they have this extra green variant. I like it. I'm like it. I'm liking this one quite a bit, actually. This is sick, dude. This is very cool. I like this one a lot. This would be especially themed on like a pyro loadout where you're using the flare gun. I like that, dude. I like that. And then we have the Fiesta Royale. Okay, another team colored and then with an extra color variant. Let me check out the video. Okay, pretty cool firework effect. Not too shabby at all, dude. I like it. I like it. My only complaint is the red team has like a really weird color to it. I don't know why it's pink instead of just like a red for red team. Like it's gonna make it a little bit more awkward to tie in the loadouts, but the gold variant, gold variant's gonna have a lot of usage. I like that very, very much. Following that, it looks like we're gonna have a hat effect and oh, okay, 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 okay. We have a banger. We have a banger, Cuban smoke. Okay, dude. So it's like the end of a cigar, I'm guessing that. That is nice looking. That is really, really good. And if you pair that with the fire marshal, like that's a good hat, dude. And a ton of those are gonna get unboxed because they're in the same case. Yes, yes, that's really good. <laughs> so far, I am very happy. I'm gonna scroll down. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Valve's a fan. I know Valve's a fan because I covered this again in that silly little update video I did. You <laughs> Valve, Valve is saying that the sex update is real. That's all I'm saying. It's real. It's real. It's in the game. <laughs> Let's go, dude. The Tropical Brim, really, really good hat for Medic. I believe it has some different styles as well. Medic got another Muscle Cosmetic, baby. We got the Watchman's Wetsuit. Very, very nice. Got some different styles as well. Um, I I'm happy to see this one in game, dude. This is really, really nice. I kind of expected this one to get in, either that or the heavy set that I covered in that video. I'm really happy to see this here. Really, really happy. Then it looks like we have a hat for the soldier in the control patrol. Two different styles here. Uh, the paint region is gonna paint the band. Okay, uh, I would have preferred it to paint the hat itself. I think this color scheme is gonna be a little bit awkward to work with, but uh, I'm assuming it's gonna match the body cosmetic, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Speaking of the body cosmetic, we have the Pathfinder. Two different styles as well. I like that they have this kind of more summer theme style and then a plain and camo style. That's sick, dude. That's really, really good. I love to see that. This body cosmetic, 
absolutely goaded. Really nice combo with the Shelmet as well. Paint region is going to be the gloves, dude. I love the gloves. Very, very, very nice. We do also have the Justice Johns. It's like I'm in a dream. Valve is actually adding pants cosmetics for once. This is crazy. Two different styles, plain and camo. Very, very nice, dude. I like this. It's kind of a silly cosmetic, but I think you can make some cool loadouts with it. The paint region is going to paint the socks. Okay, good paint region, good paint region. Uh, I'm not 100% on the hat. I don't love the hat, but I adore the body cosmetic, and I think the pants are really cool as well. That is going to bring us into the melting mohawk. We got a bunch of different color variants. Okay, okay. This is kind of an interesting one because it's not like like a particle effect flame. It's like a, like a PNG sprite flame, I, I, I think. That's, I don't know. Th that looks kind of weird to me. I, I don't know how I feel about that because it's, uh, it looks, it looks like a cartoon flame. That's the word I'm looking for. It looks like it, like an animated cartoon flame. It looks cool, but I, I don't know how I feel about that style in TF2. I don't know if that fits. Another thing that's worth mentioning is this is a PNG. So if you look at this head on, it's going to look completely flat. It's going to completely break the effect. It's, it's going to look really, really, really bad head on. And in TF2, you're usually looking at people head on. So I, I, I think it's a problem that's worth mentioning. I know it took a lot of effort to make this animated flame. Like it looks cool in a vacuum, but I just don't think it fits TF2. I don't think the style fits TF2. I don't think it was implemented very well as an effect because it's gonna completely destroy the illusion if you look at it from the wrong angle. And the fact that they don't show that angle anywhere in the promos, like if you scroll down, it's not there. That tells me that they know that as well, which I, I, I don't love. I don't love that. Uh, you know, it's not my favorite, not my favorite. We're gonna scroll down. We got more taunt effects, baby. We got godlike. Oh my god, what is this? Dude, I need to buy that ASAP right now. That's. Uh, give me that. Give me that right now. <laughs> That's so cool. I thought it was gonna look like the thumbnail where it was all of them together. No, this water one is sick. Then we have, okay, that's also really good. This like fire lava themed one. And then I'm guessing like an earth dude, this is sick. This is really good. This on that, uh, that jackhammer taunt for the engineer would go crazy. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to get that <laughs> after they're unusual That would be so cool, dude. That would be so cool. This is a banger, dude. Let me see this in game. Look at this thing. That is so good, dude. That might be my favorite taunt effect so far. Absolute banger. Look at the blue one, dude. The blue one's so good. The blue one is so good. I love this. Love, 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 love this. This is peak. This is absolute peak. That's going to bring us to the rare shine, which I believe, yeah, is a hat effect. Okay, cool. Let me check out the video so I can see it in motion. Okay, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm mixed on this one. I'm mixed on this one. It does kind of just feel like sunbeams plus community sparkle to me. I don't know if I'm 100% sold. I think you can definitely make some cool loadouts with it, but I do uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm super vibing with this one either. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. And then we have the rainbow. I am not going to try to pronounce that word. And we wait, what is this? A DMC notice of copyright infringement has been filed on this item. Valve will review the complaint. What is that? What? <laughs> what do you mean? What? What? Huh? <laughs> okay. I have, I've never seen that before. Okay. That's weird. Um, well, it's in game. Let me, ch let me check out the video. It's pretty cool. It's all right. It's a, it's a solid unusual effect. There's not a lot for me to say about it. I will say the thumbnail looks a lot cooler than in game, but I, I'm more curious about that. I, I don't know what that's about, dude. Scrolling down. It looks like we have, oh, okay. Dude. <laughs> we have the Gordon Freeman set for the medic. <laughs> that's so sick. 
<laughs> I am going to get into this, uh, this, uh, this unusual effect first, though. We have Distant Drift. Okay, what is this one about? Let me check it out here. Okay. Nice space effect. I like the spawn in. It's kind of slow. It's not as obnoxious as I thought it was going to be. Usually when you see a space effect, it's very overly loud and in your face. I don't mind this one, dude. That's solid. That is solid. I believe there is a purple and a blue variant, unless it's team colored. I have no idea. I just checked the description. It is team colored. Not too shabby, dude. Not too shabby. But let me get back to good old Gordon Freeman. Oh my God. I cannot believe this is real, dude. This is a real thing that is happening right now. Three different styles. I am so excited. Oh my God. Gosh, dude, this is sick. This is such a good cosmetic. With all these different styles, you're gonna be able to make some really awesome loadouts, especially because this isn't a hat, this is a misc, so you can combo it with so, so, so many different things. I love to see that, dude. I love to see that. The paint region is going to paint the beard. I'm assuming for the one that just has the glasses, it'll paint the glasses as well. But let me check out this body cosmetic, dude. We have the hazardous environment vest and it is animated. Dude, this with the flatliner would look so insane. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm geeking out too hard, man, but how can I not? Look at this. Look at what's on your screen right now. This is in Team Fortress 2 now. This is awesome. You're going to be able to make some absolutely insane loadouts with this. Like with the flatliner, it, uh, dude, it's so good. I, it's so good. I can't even talk properly. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, update day is like Christmas for me. I, I love making loadouts in TF2 and it, it's so fun seeing all these amazing new items get added and it paints the line. Oh, dude. I'm actually okay with this because the cosmetic itself ties in really well to stock uh, color palette, medic stock color palette. I like that. I'm totally okay with this paint region. That is an absolute banger. I'm going to scroll down and we have legacy logo. Okay. I'm liking this. Let me see it in game. Let me see it in game. Okay. I like this. I like this quite a bit. That is nice. That's classy, dude. We got an orange version and then a team colored version. That's pretty sick, dude. I like that. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised we didn't have something like this in game a long time ago. That's that's pretty sick, dude. I like it. I like it. Then we have a warp drive. Okay. Okay, dude. That's kind of cool. Hold on a minute. No, I like that. I like that a lot. That is very cool looking. Is this team colored or oh, okay? They are different effects. They have different names. So this one's warp drive. And then this yellow gold one is overdrive. Okay, dude. I like it. I like it. That's nice. But then ladies and gentlemen, I am seeing out of the corner of my eye, a sniper hat called the aim frame. And I am very excited about it because I saw this hat when it was just a concept. I saw it when it was being modeled and it came out so good. I, I am really happy to see this one in game, dude. That is such a good hat. Really interesting paint region as well. I think you can make some really fun loadouts with this. And they do have some right here. It's going to combo really well with the preventative measure, which got added in fairly recently. I like the combo with the airborne attire. That's pretty fun. I like this, dude. I like this a lot. Now, let me scroll down. And what do we have? What is this? <laughs> okay, let's. Is this the MF Doom hat? <laughs> Is this the MF Doom hat? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. It is a demo man hat. That is totally not a reference to anything. It is reference, potential reference aside. A very nice helmet. I like this dude. I like this. I'm all for another demo night helmet. Solid, solid, solid. Then we're going to have the lure of the deep unusual effect. Okay, dude, not too shabby. I believe I saw this one in one of the past seasons. It's a pretty cool concept for an unusual effect. Not too shabby at all. That, uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I am all for another fish item in Team Fortress 2. And 
I would love to get a glow from below with this effect on it. That would be so cool, dude. Anglerfish squared. That would be insane looking. But then we're gonna have desert wind, unusual taunt effect. Oh, dude, this would fit my engineer so well. I gotta have this, dude. I've seen this on the workshop before. It is a banger, dude. It is a banger. I love this. I love the tumbleweed. I love the details of like the skull and the cactus. This is a nice taunt effect, dude. We got the desert wind and then we have monsoon season, which switches it out for rain instead of like a dust kind of blowing around. That's fun, dude. I like it. I like it a lot. This is a very good taunt effect. Now it is time to hit the fateful next page button. What do we have? Yo! Desk engineer, Whirlmon, he stays winning. Dude, let's go. <laughs> I can't believe engineer got his Sunday vest before scout got the Sunday vest. That's not fair. Lord, it's not fair. <laughs> Dude, but I'm so happy to see this in game. That's so good. I saw this one a while ago when it originally released because this is about a year old. And it's a banger, dude. The style's really, really good. You know I love my plain styles. It's such a good cosmetic, dude. I love this thing. It has so many potential loadouts you can make with it. The paint region is really good. And Whirlmon, he's just a stand-up guy, all right? I like the dude. I've been smoking that Whirlmon pack since I first saw the lawn maker on the workshop, okay? I love this guy's work. I love that Valve is continuing to add awesome awesome stuff like this this is shaping up to be an amazing cosmetic case like they really have not missed so far and then next to that <laughs> two more world items bro i just saw that <laughs> okay Worldmon, maybe leave some items for for the rest of us okay <laughs> maybe <laughs> this is really cool dude four different styles you got goggles you got no goggles you got stripe you got no stripe very, very nice hat for the engineer. I like this one a lot. I think you could remix this into like a pilot loadout. I think you could use it for like a soldier themed loadout. There's some fun things you can do with this one, dude. I am a fan of this. Then we're gonna get into the big star with a watch. Okay, I like the watch. I don't know if that's a reference to something, but that is pretty cool. This thing is gonna have some really cool combo potential. I like this one a lot, dude. I, I honestly cannot believe <laughs> Both of the engineer things that were selected were from Whirlmon. Like, that's been the joke for the past year that Whirlmon gets all the engineer items in. And this update, seemingly, he actually did get all of the engineer items. That's hilarious, dude. The desk engineer, though, is definitely a standout. Like, that's so massive, dude. And then if I scroll down, we have the Butterfly Season V2. Okay. I like the color scheme. I like the team spirit and then seemingly the emblem colors. Like that's nice. Very, very cool. I like it. I like it. Let me see it in game. All right. It's pretty fun, dude. It's pretty fun. I don't mind this one at all. I, 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 I feel like people are going to be more critical of this one because the concept's a little out there, but color palette wise, like it's solid. I, I think it's pretty, pretty good effect. Honestly, like you got to have they, they all can't be glowing balls of energy. Do you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta have some out there ones. I like this. I like this. Then we have Psychodelic. Okay, goaded name. Okay, no color variants. Okay. I'm interested. I'm interested. I like it. I like it. I like it. Simple, clean, but nothing really like this exists, at least with this color palette. Very interesting. It might be a little hard to tie in the loadouts. I'd be interested to see how people use this, but solid, solid. I don't really have any complaints about this. Then we have treasure trove. Oh boy, what a treat. What an absolute treat. Look at this, dude. It's so good. <laughs> I, I have seen this before. And I'm very excited that they put it in the game. This is a very good taunt effect. I think this is probably going to be one of the more popular taunt effects from this update. It looks really good, especially on a moving taunt. And you can build a loadout around it where you can have like a bank robber scout and then have this like trailing behind him like you just robbed a bank or something. I don't know. You can do some really fun things with it. 
I like it a lot. I did not know it had an extra color variant though. I wonder if they added this one. I have no idea. Regardless, this is absolutely goaded. I am really excited that they added this one, dude. Hopefully I get to unusualify one of these bad boys because that, that is a solid taunt effect, my dude. Now we're gonna be scrolling down again. It looks like more unusuals. We have Amatory? Amatory? I have no idea what any of those words mean, but that is a trippy looking effect. I like this one. That is a weird color scheme that I do not see very often in Team Fortress 2. It could go well with that one wick effect that we got last Halloween though. That's not too bad actually. I'm interested. I'm interested. Okay. All right. Not too bad actually. This one's a little bit out there. I, I feel like definitely the purple one is going to be more popular because it combos with a lot of high tier unusuals. You could put this with like Nebula, something like that. But honestly, I like this one. I like this one the best just because it's so original. Like there's, there's, re there's really nothing like this in terms of color palette. I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. Solid, 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 solid. Then we have Sakura Blessings. Okay. I was not a massive fan of the Sakura hat effect from last update. So let me check this one out, dude. This one is Violent Violets. Okay, I'm surprised I said that first take. And then we have Sakura Blessings on red. And then I'm assuming a blue team variant. Yeah, okay. All right, not too bad at all. I don't really have any complaints about this. Yeah, it's solid. It's solid. It's not my thing. I wouldn't use it, but... I can see a lot of people really liking this. It's solid. It is solid. Then we're going to have Bewitching Bugs. Okay, let me check this one out. This one's a little out there. I, I'm going to be so real. I don't know if we needed three different bug themed effects in one update. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I, I'm not really vibing with this one. I'm going to be super honest. I like the trail. I really like the trail on these butterflies, but I don't really like the butterflies themselves. I'm not really feeling this one, to be honest. Let me scroll down. <gasps> dude, 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 dude. Are you kidding? Dude. Okay, I'm saying dude too much. <laughs> this is the price of going in blind, ladies and gentlemen. The Tuxedo Royale. Dude. I have wanted this in the game for so, 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 so long. Me and all of my loadout nerd friends absolutely glaze this cosmetic because it is goaded. It is so, so good. I am so happy this got in the game, dude. We got shaken and stirred. Two really good styles. Oh, dude, I can't believe it actually got in. I actually cannot believe it. I am so hyped right now. <laughs> I'm already imagining like the loadouts I can make with this. It's so good. It's so, so good. That just skyrocketed this case from like good to great. With this and the desk engineer, it is a great case. I pray this is not like a super high grade because this needs to be in every spy main's hands. It is such a good case. A cosmetic it's I can't even talk I'm so excited man next to it we have the brand loyalist okay were they just like listening to the loadout nerds because this this is another thing that we have been clamoring for for years this was uploaded in 2022 <laughs> okay dude okay all class every single class has a custom company that they represent obviously some of them are going to be team colored very very nice dude you're going to be able to make some really interesting loadouts with this. For me, the standouts have got to be the Telemax one, the Captain Dan's one, and the Rusto one. If I had to pick a favorite, the Rusto one is peak. I love the Rusto one. I cannot wait to make a loadout with that one, dude. Th this is a big win for loadout nerds. Like, there's gonna be some really fun loadout combinations to be had as a result of this update. Like, the Desk Engineer, the Tuxedo Royale, and the Brand Loyalist, like, those are things that we have been dreaming of, dude. Like, th this is a good day. This is just a good day. <laughs> and then we're gonna have another unusual hat effect with the Loyalist's Coronet. Okay, or maybe Coronet, I don't know. Pretty sick. Okay, this, honestly, this looks more of like a Halloween effect. I'm kind of surprised it's here, but it looks pretty cool. Okay, Red Team blue team yeah it looks pretty solid 
Uh, the gold one. Oh, wait, it's different. Wait, so this is more of a fire, and then this is like, I guess more of like an energy and it's dripping? Okay. Okay, I'm interested. And then this one's also different, this uh, this silver one. Okay, I mess with it, dude. I mess with it. It's pretty cool. I like it. I'm gonna scroll down. Is that the robot from Embargo? Wait, what is this? Wait, wait, is it a pet cosmetic? Oh, is it a pet cosmetic? Dude, I think it's a pet cosmetic. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is the waiter robot from Embargo as <laughs> a pet cosmetic that like rolls around on the ground after you. That's so cool. That, imagine like, okay, imagine if you will, like a sticky jumper or a rocket jumper with this thing. It would be hilarious. <laughs> and every single class has their own custom drink. So like Scout has Bonk, Demo Man has Booze, uh, Sniper has Coffee. This is cool, man. This is really cool. What an amazing cosmetic. I have never seen this before, probably because it's from 2020. Really good paint region. Like this is peak. This is so good. I love this. Like <laughs> I'm 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 actually lost for words. Like I'm I'm losing my voice. I'm so happy about this update. Like the cosmetic picks have just been banger after banger after banger. The styles as well. If you don't want the drink, you can just have them with his arm behind his back. Very, very cool. This is a great cosmetic. Honestly, dude, the loadout nerds are winning so hard today. And then we have the heavy set, the Brutes Braces. Okay, so like a mafia heavy kind of thing from 2018. Yo, okay. Wait, I'm excited. This is actually cool. Nice and plain, nothing super crazy about it. It really does give me older item vibes, but I think this is gonna be really useful. Good paint region as well. Good call to paint the suspenders instead of the whole shirt. I mean, obviously, but yeah, that's good. That's really good. And then it is gonna be paired with the Crooks cap. Now, I will be honest, this model does show its age a little bit in my opinion, but it's still gonna have some uses in some different loadouts, but I do definitely think it's outshined by the body cosmetic here. The body cosmetic is really, really good. I see the scout set already. It's not the Sunday vest, but it does look pretty cool. Hold on. Let them cook from 2015, the Commonwealth Commando. Okay, dude. I like this hat. I like this hat a lot. That is a really good hat. Nice and simple, really good paint region. This is gonna be fun to make some loadouts with. That is that is very cool. It does also come with the tanker's top. I, oh God, I just noticed it's a sky item. Valve, why couldn't it have been the Sunday vest? Valve, why, why it's the same creator? Please, one of these days, just give me the Sunday vest. But I will take this for now. This is a good body cosmetic. I am not complaining in any way, shape or form. I really like that loadout. That is solid. That's nice, dude. That's nice. I would much rather this than another hoodie or another sports themed shirt. Like this is something that is definitely gonna serve a need that Scout has, especially the hat, dude. This is very good. This is very, very good. Now I do see another Sky item in the Sneaky Blinder. I believe is our final item besides the map. So this is rounding off the cosmetic case. Another one from 2015 and absolutely goaded spy hat. This is very, very clean, dude. It's going to have some nice combo potential with the lurkers leathers. Very, very nice to see, dude. It's simple. There's not a lot I can say about it, but come on. It's a good hat. You know, it's a good hat. And then if I scroll down, it's just the older items from the last update. Overall, like the cosmetic case is peak. The cosmetic case is really, really good. I'm glad to see Valve keeping that high standard. The pyro set's insane. The medic set's really good. The soldier set's good. Medic set's amazing. This is really good. Like, Desk Engineer, Tuxedo Royale, Brand Loyalist, Votler 2000. Like, the, the picks are really good. I will say the unusual effects definitely have a couple stinkers that aren't really up to snuff in my opinion, but you know, you're gonna have some that are like that, but then you have some that are absolutely God tier. 
like godlike or honestly even this logo one i really like you got desert wind which is really good you got uh distress signal fiesta royale which i think are pretty good cuban smoke was really nice electrocution was really nice the taunts are really good overall i am happy with this update i think it was a good update the cosmetics are the biggest winner by far by an absolute mile the cosmetics are so good and the second i am done editing this video i'm gonna go make some loadouts because i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited to have some of these finally in the game uh, man what a good update what a good update the only complaint i have of course is that there wasn't a war paint case and that's that sucks because i really do love war paints i care about war paints a lot i've seen a lot of really talented war paints get made and dude it's fine if valve doesn't want to add any more of them but please for the love of god just tell us just tell the creators hey we're not doing any war paints this season so that we don't spend hours and hours and hours and hours weeks and weeks and weeks making war paints that never had a chance of getting into the game to begin with like come on come on valve please <laughs> like i did a couple war paints this season and i wasn't even grinding war paints that hard like there are people who made a ton of war paints and the and they didn't even have a chance like that sucks i don't like that overall though like i said i'm very happy with this update and let me know your thoughts down in the comments what are your favorite items what are your least favorite items what do you love what do you hate i don't know tell me all about it in the comments i am keen to hear what you all think about this case what you all think about this update uh i'm really excited to get into this i got like some taunts to unusual fi tomorrow which i'm really excited about uh, i'm really excited to play on the new maps i think that's gonna be really fun overall I think this is a good update. I think it's a good update, especially the cosmetics. I will hammer this point again and again and again. I'm so happy to see that they are continuing the standards that they set in 2023 with their cosmetic picks. Like this is a really good case for cosmetics. Just hit after hit after hit, fan favorite after fan favorite. It's so good. You can literally hear my voice dying as I speak amazing 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 with that thank you for watching all the way to the end i really do appreciate it and i am going to be doing a lot more content around this update so be sure to subscribe if you are new around here and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching to the end if you liked that i got another one right here come on i know you want to click it what are you doing the video is about to end